just want to go over problems last day that you're going to have anything on buffer titration or any of those problems are that's it we're moving on from that so for number one uh, arsenious acid h3 aso3 ionized according to the equation so we got an equilibrium constant and that constant is 6.0 times 10 to the negative 10th at 25. So for a 0.6 molar solution, calculate the pH. So the first thing you need to do is write the, write the equation over again. And we're gonna have to do an ice box. Anybody know if I'm recording? Okay, thanks. H plus. H2 ASO3 minus. All right, from there, we're gonna have to do a little ice box. We know that AP, we're not gonna have to do any quadratic equation. Um, what's the molarity I start with? 0 0.6. How much of this do I have? My equilibrium is going to be all right. So we have that. Uh, now you always get a point on AP for writing the equilibrium expression. So what's that going to be? H plus. God bless you. H two A S F three. So you have to write it before you solve it. You have to write the K. He has to tell you. Write the KA expression. What's that? It tells you A, B, C, D, E. This would be like A or B. Okay? Over the H3 ASO3. All right. So then what we know is going to equal X times X over what? 0 0.6. We're going to get rid of that for all AP, and that's gonna equal our value that we were given at the beginning, 6.0 times 10 to the negative 10th. And when we solve for that, we get, all right, the value of H plus or X, or X, which could be that as well, 1.9, times 10 to the negative fifth. How do we get the pH? Negative log. All right, negative log. We're gonna do our pH, negative log equals, pH equals negative log, 1.9 times 10 to the negative fifth. And when we do that, what do we get? 4.72. However, it asks you to do the percent Ionization. Now this is something that AP may ask you to do that I haven't talked about. How would you do that? This is really tough. How would you do this? Alright. So we're going to take our 1.9 times 10 to the negative fifth and divide it by what we started with. Here it is, 0 0.60, multiplied by 100, and we get what? 3.6 times 10 to the negative 3. Yes. So if I was doing percent ionization, I'd do this, 0, 0, 3, 2 percent. Just list it a little bit differently. I like to see it without the, you can do it either. Okay? Percent ionization should be no problem. Those of you that were in blue too should definitely make a note of number one on the packet you worked on in class today, because we didn't do that. And especially the percent ionization. Number two. So we're dealing with propanoic acid. And we have a POH, calculate the KA. 
All right, so the first thing you need to do is obviously figure out what the equation is that you're working with. Could anybody help me out with that? What equation would we be working with? It's tough. It's a tough one. plus plus C3 H5 O2 minus again plug it into our ice box all right plug it into our ice box so let's go ahead and do that what do we have for the first one here here, zero, what about change? All right, what do we have for equilibrium? Okay, now we have that is what we need. Don't need it just yet, because we have to figure out what we're working with. We have to figure out what the concentration is of H plus from the data we already have, yes. All right, so we have POH 12.065, which means my pH is going to be 14 minus 12.065, which equals 1.935. And then we do H plus is going to be concentration of H plus 10 raised to the negative 1.9 negative 1.935 and you get what? Alright, 0 0.116 0 0.116 and that is the same thing as my x value that's the same thing as my x, right? So take a look we calculated H plus did that, I'm going to go ahead and circle it in black, so you should know H plus is here. We calculated H plus to be that, so now we can just plug it into our equation and rock and roll. Again, you get one point for always writing the equilibrium uh, expression, constant expression, which would be obviously concentration of the products over the reactant. So I'm going to have it equaling, I'm just going to skip that part, x times x over 0 0.10 minus x. I know what x is, and I'm solving for Ka. I don't know what Ka is. So I plug in my x values, 0 0.0116 squared divided by 0 0.100 minus 0 0.0116. Now I can get my answer. What did you get? Point zero zero one five two. All right. You can put this in exponential form. One point five three. Uh, that's what I got. I'm like, saying negative third. Okay. It's not bad. It seems like we're rock and roll on that. Did you guys get all that? Did you get all that? Yeah. yeah. Got it. All right. Good. 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 You like that? All right, let's do four. Four is the one I didn't do with the other glass. So let's do four. Now, three, five, and six are on the, okay, see you later, homie. homie. And then there were two. All right. So here we go. Number four, a 0 0.010 molar Solution of iodic acid, HiO3 is 95% ionized at 25 degrees. Calculate the value of Ka for HiO3. Good luck tomorrow. Big game tomorrow. You need to win. Yeah. All right. Ka is, we don't have the K. We're calculating the Ka. So again, a percent ionization question, a great one to do and, and have on your review. Um, YouTube PowerPoints to do. 
Um, and the 2% ionizations were not done in blue 2, but you're going to get them in blue 4. Every day is a blessing, right? So for you guys, if you get one of these on the EP exam, um, congratulations, you'll probably get it right. Those of you that are watching this in blue 2, you may get it right as well. All right. Whatever. All right. But in, in this week, you're at blue 4. All right. So that's how I look at it. So what am I going to have for my formula? I'm going to have HIO3. Is that a strong or weak acid? Weak. Weak. All right. So what am I going to make on the other side? H plus. So now you have to answer. And some iodate ions, which Saskia wish she had, some dates. Yep. All right, here we go. So now I gotta do my ice box. And what would I have? 0.01. And zero, zero. I'm gonna go backwards. You guys are getting good at this, you're realizing that. There is just a pattern of repetition, right? X and X, we're good to go on that. Okay, so we have all that good stuff. What would I put for, what else do I have here? Oh, well, I have to figure out how I'm gonna get use the percent ionization. How can I pull out that percent ionization at 95%? Perfect, 0 0.95 equals X over 0 0.010. And why is that, James? Uh, it's like how much is associated with the total is the percent. All right, so what you started with, 0 0.01, you know that's 95%, so we gotta figure out what percent we had here and we leave that as an X value. Perfect, all right, so now we know that X is gonna be 0 0.0095, because we're all great mathematicians, and now we can figure out our Ka value. Again, for this time, I'm gonna be really good and write out my Ka expression, which I know I always get a point for doing on the AP exam, all right? And this is very tough, but well, what am I gonna have? 0.0095, I'm going to square that, and I'm going to divide by my 0 0.010 minus 0 0.0095, and I'm going to get my Ka value to be 0.1805. All right, and a little staircase to boot. Pause. I just 